Yo, yeah, what's up, guys? It's Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, I'm going to show you how to add these amazing animated emojis into your After Effects tutorial. And not only that, they're going to be tracked to faces, so they will move with your person or whatever it is you're tracking, they will move with you. What the heck am I talking about? Let's just shut this for a second. Let me show you here. So I'll turn this off. This is the original footage. Boom. There he is. Why am I even doing that? I should just go ahead and show you the original here. Okay, this is the original footage. There he is, just some dude walking down the street or walking on the beach. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add that back in. And then let's take a look at what it looks like with the emoji. Boing! And you'll notice that the emoji turned and it actually moves with the face. It is tracked to the face very, very well. So let's go ahead and delete all of that stuff. Let's delete everything, actually. Let's just go ahead and chop it out and start from scratch. I'm going to show you how to do this. It's not too tricky, but there's a few steps to it. So let's just get it rolling. Okay, the first step is you got to grab your footage. So here's the footage. I'm going to drag and drop that into my project panel like I just did. And then I'm just going to drag and drop it right here on top of new composition. And presto, we're on our way. The next step is I'm just going to go ahead and stop this around, let's go to like three seconds, just over three seconds because this is very... Uh, CPU and, and resource intensive so I'm just gonna make this a small composition because I just want to teach you the technique so I just pulled that in there and then I'm just gonna go to trim comp to work area so now this is only about a three and a half second long clip so that's manageable okay now making sure you're selected on the um, the video here that you're using we're gonna go up to the top here and we're gonna grab this little rectangle tool we're gonna get the ellipse tool in fact and we're gonna draw a mask around his face so let's just go ahead and do that. I want to make sure I get all of his face and a little extra doesn't hurt. Okay, something like that. That doesn't look too bad. All right, good enough. Okay, so we've got our mask. Next step, left click on the mask here. We're now going to go over to the tracker. You will see, if you don't see it, see the window. And there's got to be a check mark beside tracker. Go to tracker and it's face tracking time. So the first step here is we're gonna go ahead and hit the play button. This says track selected masks forward. Left click on that and it will do a mask track. Let's go ahead. There we go. Now, this is very, very quick. I've got a fast computer. So you'll see here, these are the tracking points and it's being applied almost in real time. That's pretty darn impressive there, Adobe. Uh, nice work. So there we go. Now we've got a track mask on his face and you'll see here that it's sort of floats and discombobulated in space not to worry if that bugs you all you got to do is go over to the mask and then instead of add just click it to none and when you do that you'll still see the mask but it'll show you all the stuff in the background too so you can sort of zoom in and see what's going on so okay so we've got a pretty good face track here so okay I'm liking it the next step is we're gonna want to set a rest pose so I'm gonna go ahead and just click outside of the uh, composition so I can get rid of that mask stuff so I can just see and for a rest pose basically you want to you want a when he's looking or she's looking at the camera just basically straight on if you can get a shot like that that's the best shot so without any funny faces or anything like that so here he is looking pretty much dead on at the camera almost just a little bit off there we go something like that that's a good one we're gonna go back to tracker open it up and we're gonna go ahead and click on the mask again we clicked out we're gonna click back on it and then you're gonna see here set rest pose so we're gonna set that as our rest pose bingo now the na next step is to go extract and copy face measurements you got to make sure you left click on this as well and then it's gonna run some calculations and you'll see them pop up here under your effect controls. So here we go, there's our face measurements and yeah, I won't go into all the details, but it's done it automatically. We are now on our way and we're getting pretty close. The next step is we wanna go up to window extensions and we want Motion Pro version 3.2, whatever it's at when you watch this video. For me, I've got it open right here, so I'm gonna open it up and there it is. Now you'll probably see something like this what you want to do is you want to make sure you click on this little uh, folder icon and then for this what i'm working on i'm working with the free version here so this is ae starter ae face tool starter pack so this is the free version so this is you can do this work along with me at least at the time of this so here we go so here we go so what are we looking for we're looking for the emoji so let's just take a look here there it is emoji now there's a lot of cool emojis I don't even know which one I want. Do I want the crying emoji? Do I want the sick emoji? Do I want the devil emoji? I don't even know. I kind of like this one where the guy's about to chunder. Looks like the Monopoly man's about to throw up. So we're going to now left click on apply. 
and here we go it loads the presets it doesn't do a perfect job though as you can see here it's done an okay job but it's not positioned correctly so this is where we got to get in and start doing some fine tuning all right you're following along with me i'm liking it so i'm going to double click now on this composition and there's going to be a few things but what we're looking at is we're going to want to look at these settings and let's go ahead and make a few adjustments the sphere radius is how big the head is so if you want a massive melon you can change that we're not going to mess around with that too much but we are going to take a look at a couple things uh one well actually that's not so bad if i'm looking at this correctly I'm, if i'm seeing it the way i think i'm seeing it this isn't so bad so i'm just going to go ahead and flip through here and take a couple of looks at some stuff one of the things i want to change and you'll see here that under settings under transform is the anchor point this one's critical this one is not in the correct point you want to resist the urge to double click on this and try and move it to where it's supposed to be you actually got to move it by anchor point so i'm going to go ahead and move the anchor point so that it's about pro right in the middle there something like that and then let's see i'm going to move it up and i kind of want it just to be where i think his head should be so maybe something like that now let's go ahead and close this up and now let's hit spacebar and see what we got. Okay, there he goes. Oh, chunder time. Boom. Turns, looks at the camera. Vomits, sort of vomits a little bit in his mouth. Presto. That's how you attach an emoji in, using face tracking inside Adobe After Effects. Guys, thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Be back soon.